We're going to the moon. Well, maybe you are. I'm going to send you there. Hundreds of students from across the globe are getting ready to battle lunar rover terrain at NASA's 17th annual Great Moon Buggy Race in Huntsville, Alabama. Joining us this morning are a group of RISD students with their lunar rover design and Mike Selby of NASA. We'll start with you, Mike. Uh, talk about uh, this competition, what the kids have to do once they get down to Alabama. Well, the, the students have designed and built this moon buggy as you see here. It's a competition for high school and college students. They have to design a buggy that unassembled fits inside a four-foot cube. They are timed in assembling that buggy into the racing configuration, as you see here. And then uh, once they assemble the buggy, they're timed over an obstacle course simulating the lunar terrain. There are 17 obstacles, and the course is about half a mile long. Wow. All right. Let's start uh, over here on the end with Carissa, one of the students from RISD. And uh, I'll get over here on this side. What, what made you want to get involved in building something that uh, would be like a buggy that went to the moon? Well, our group from the Industrial Design Program at RISD was really anxious to be involved in this program because RISD's never been um, in the in the moon buggy race before, so it's our first time, and we thought it'd be a really great opportunity to hone some of our design skills in a primarily engineering-based competition. Do you want to go to the moon, Carissa? We do. <laughs> you do. Okay. Over here now to Eric. Eric, you you drive this thing. You're the you're the pilot. Yeah, I'm the the front driver, and another one of our classmates. Cassie Maurer is in the back, uh, so I do all the steering and power the front two wheels, and Cassie powers the back. Now, do you want to be an astronaut, or is this something that uh, you just like to design things that might go to the moon? I'm definitely interested in space and lunar design, so... Hop in while, while I talk here to uh, Brian. I want you to kind of hop in that pilot seat. I'm interested how this thing gets folded up into a four-foot uh, box, but uh, talk about uh, your involvement in this, and why were you so uh, interested in doing this? Um... I mean, I was I've I heard about the studio last semester and like from the get-go. I mean, I was super stoked about it. Um, I've always sort of had an interest in, interest in aerospace, and um, I I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm I have a very competitive spirit, and I'm excited to get down there with RISD and see what RISD can throw out to the competition. And so he drives. It's like being on a train, huh? Looking backwards. <laughs> Do you point out there like you can't really navigate from back there? No, uh, Eric does. Eric does all the navigation, um, all the all the powers from the back. Um, oh, so we've got the stronger person in the back, power in this machine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's actually it's a really comfy, really comfy vehicle. Um, it rides like a Cadillac. Um, it. It's, uh, it's impressive. Hopefully it holds together when we go down there. All right, um, good luck to you guys. We've got 15 seconds, Mike. Finally, to you. What happens if they win? Uh, if they win, uh, they get a cash award that will help them go to Florida to see a shuttle launch later on in the year. Wow, that is awesome. Well, good luck, and uh, maybe you can take Ben out for a spin later on. Find a way to get this guy out of here as much as we can. Good luck down uh, in Alabama, and hopefully you advance to see the, the launch down there at uh, NASA. All right, back to you, Danielle. All right, guys.